which celebrity's death hit you the hardest and why? Jim Henson because he was my childhood and Shannon Hoon because he was too young and it didn't need to happen. Shannon Hoon, one of the greatest voices I've ever heard. Hard to believe it's coming up on 25 years since he died. Naya Rivera's death this year has me feeling very sad even now. We started re-watching Glee after her passing and sometimes the feels are just too much. The whole mystery of how she died and the fact her son will not have his mama to grow up with was just heartbreaking. R.I.P. Naya, I feel the same way. I watched Glee and enjoyed her performances but never was a big fan of hers or followed her on any social medias. Surprisingly, her death really hit me. It is so tragic, my heart breaks for her son but, man, what a hero she is. Kind of sad how the public only knew about supposedly feuds but not what a nice person she was. And while this is in no way about me, reading all the tributes really inspired me to be a better person. Edit, typo, I think Chris Cornell. Not necessarily because of me feeling a connection or being a huge fan, but because I had tickets to his next show after he killed himself. And it was a music festival so all of the other acts did various tributes and you could feel a sadness in the air surrounding his death. So I think it hit me the hardest because I experienced it in that setting. Tribute performances, moments of silence, things like that. Most other celebrity deaths you read about them online and maybe talk about it with your friends or on social media, but this one took it one step above seeing all of these other musicians who knew Chris personally playing his songs in honor of him. It was a unique style of grieving that has stuck with me. It was almost like a metal funeral. That one hit me for all the other reasons. That dude's talent, man. Ayrton Senna. He was a Formula One driver who died after a crash during a race and was considered by many to be one of the best F1 drivers of all time. He was my dad's favorite driver and I was watching the race with my dad and siblings. Seeing the crash live, following the story as he went to the hospital, and hearing he died just really messed me up. Such a terrible weekend with Ratzenberger's fatal crash as well. Stan Lee. Man was a big inspiration for me. I met him in 2012 at a comic convention. I got the opportunity before the photo op to say thank you for everything he had created, and all that he had done to inspire me. I told him that his characters always helped push me to be a better person. He responded by pausing the camera operator, turning to me, and saying, all I ever did was make entertaining characters for people's enjoyment. You should be proud of trying to be a good person, and that's why people like you are my personal favorite superheroes. He wrapped his arm around my shoulder and smiled for the camera. Gave me a little salute as I walked away. Brought me to tears after the picture. He was an amazing man. Wasn't planning on crying today. Chadwick Boseman. It was so unexpected. Same. To hear it was cancer and he was fighting in silence for years was such a shocker. He was too young. I learned the other day that people were shaming him for losing weight over these past few years. I hope those people have learned a valuable lesson, but they probably didn't. Steve Irwin. For his incredible and contagious love for animals, conservation and environmental work. 14 years later and I still feel like crying watching videos of him. I remember exactly where I was when I found out. And then Peter Brock died too soon after, or was it before? Same. It was morning and I was still in bed but awake and dad came in to tell me the news. I can't remember where I was for any other celebrity death. Loved watching his shows, my friends and I always went looking for snakes and other critters in the woods nearby. Kurt Cobain. I had to scroll way too far to see Kurt I wonder how he would be nowadays if he had Twitter. Amy Winehouse. I was going through my own struggles with drug and alcohol abuse and a toxic relationship at the same time she was and took solace in her music. When she didn't make it, it made me doubt that I could, but I'm glad to say I did. Her death hit me pretty hard too. I just think she had so much still left to give the world. It's so sad. Also glad to hear that you've made it. Robin Williams. It was such a shock and really felt like the world had been robbed of something special and unique. Philip Seymour Hoffman. 
It just felt like such a loss to the profession and I absolutely loved his acting. Me too. Best actor of my generation. When he died it hit me that he'd been looking forward to seeing him in older roles as we all got older and to seeing him mature as an actor. I feel like something was taken away from us. Also he seemed cool and it was a tragedy. Carrie Fisher. I loved Star Wars as a kid. This one hurt for me too. I wasn't a huge Star Wars fan but I loved Carrie Fisher she was a woman I really looked up to. I fear the day Dolly Parton or Marish Kahagate pass away, that'll really stink for me. Steve Irwin, be kind to animals Mr. Rogers, be kind to others Bob Ross, be kind to yourself Carl Sagan, be skeptical. I don't know if it hit me the hardest but the one I remember vividly was Princess Diana. I was 11 when she died and didn't know much about her, but I could tell the impact she had worldwide and how beloved she was to people who never met her. Learning of her death breaking on the news is something that will stick with me. David Bowie. Brilliant musician, master of reinvention, gracious and elegant. He and Iman represented something beautiful, a private life even with celebrity. The farewell of his last album was very much like Chadwick Boseman's death, eloquent, a last goodbye so his art wouldn't be overshadowed by a lengthy farewell. Bowie hit really hard. I still haven't been able to bring myself to listen to his last album. I've heard bits of it but it just feels really sad to think I'll sit down and listen to something new from him for the last time. Took me a while to be able to listen to Black Star. I wanted to have a clear and open mind first. But when I did, I was so glad. It was so clearly the sound of a man who knew he was about to die. It was haunting. It may not have been the Bowie we knew and loved, but it was absolutely Bowie at his most honest. Bourdain really hurt my feelings, cool guy, seemed like he had it all. Inspires me to keep looking to the future because things really started going his way as he got older, like Ricky Gervais. Gives me hope in my late 30s that I'm still on the way up. I should have died in my 20s. I became successful in my 40s. I became a dad in my 50s. I feel like I've stolen a car, a really nice car, and I keep looking in the rear view mirror for flashing lights. But there's been nothing yet. This quote from him always struck me more than anything else, especially after he died. Alan Rickman, I think. The news of it was shocking, but what made it hit a little harder was going to the Harry Potter studios the day after and discovering that the staff had placed a single rose at the feet of his costume. Just one sad, lone flower made it a whole lot more bittersweet. Also, not surprisingly, all of the Severus Snape once had sold out that day. So sad but that gesture was beautiful. Tom Petty and Chester Bennington. I'm a huge Petty fan. Seen him in concert several times, and I've loved his music for my whole life. Similar story with Linkin Park. I actually met a few members of the band in a hotel while they were on their tour for A Thousand Sons. I wanted to meet Chester, and saw him walk through the hotel lobby a few times, but never had a chance to walk up to him when he didn't look busy, so I never got to meet him. Those were the only times I've actually felt hurt by a celebrity dying. Scrolled looking for Tom Petty. This is my answer too. I'm a massive Petty fan since I was really young, I'm 45 now. I never saw him in concert, and I still haven't fully accepted that will never happen. He played a music festival in CA the year he died. I think it was late summer. My son really wanted to go to that festival, and it was within driving distance so he kept trying to convince me we could make a weekend of it, but I couldn't swing the expense at that time. One of the things he said to try to sway me was, but mom, Top Petty is going to be there. Who knows how much longer you'll have to see him. He said this in a sort of jokey way. Fast forward to the day of Petty's death and I'm crying. Son comes down and asks what's wrong I tell him. He says, I'm really sorry, mom. But I told you. Mac Miller. I felt like a full-blown adult for the first time when I said he was taken too soon. Greater than easily one of my favorite artists, heartbroken I never got to see him live. He died shortly after releasing his album Swimming with Self Care, I got all the time in the world, so for now I'm just chilling. That really hurt. 
or perfect circle slash God speed where he says swallow in my pride and I'm hiding what's making me mad everybody saying I need rehab because I'm speed and with a blindfold on and won't be long until they watching me crash and they don't wanna see that they don't want me to nod and have to talk to my mother tell her they could have done more to help me and she'd just be crying saying that she do anything to have me back all the nights I'm losing sleep it was all a dream. There was a time that I believed that but white lines be numbing them dark times them pills that I'm popping, I need to man up, admit it's a problem I need to wake up before one morning I don't wake up you make your mistakes, your mistakes never make you terrible stuff. Still pretty torn up about Avicii. He's one of the few DJs I really like that I didn't get the chance to see. All of his music is so happy, it's clear that he just wanted others to be happy and spread joy. He just couldn't have it for himself. Then to find out how he commuted suicide, the whole thing is so horrible, thank you. I was scrolling down to see if someone mentioned him. His music had a huge impact on me and when I found out about his death I was so sad, then angry. It's very rare that I find an artist that I love every song from but that was him. Extremely talented but it was so sad the way he went. The people around him abused his talent and it broke him. There's an excellent doc on YouTube about it https colon slash slash youtube.b slash Kobe Bryant and it did not help he died such a tragic death along with his daughter who had so much ahead of her. He died just as his life dedicated to his family was about to start. I watched the NBA growing up and though I don't play the game, I am inspired by his work ethic and mentality. I follow him on Goodreads and he made a goal to read 12 books this year. It still breaks my heart when I see he has read one of 12 he accomplished to do and I'm never going to see a new update. Had to scroll too far for this. This accident broke my heart. This was the first time I cried because somebody died who wasn't closely related to me. I have his jerseys hanging, getting tattooed in his honors and flew to the US to see him play. It broke my heart that Gigi died too. Rest in peace Mamba and Mambasita. We love you, Kobe. He just inspired a generation of people to be better. Wake up early. Put in extra effort. Also because he died horribly, as well as his daughter. His brain was ejected from his skull, and all of his daughter's limbs were traumatically amputated. Wow didn't know about those details. I saw Kobe play during my trip in LA back in the day. A truly magnificent man. Jesus that is horrifying. I wish I didn't read that. Bob Ross. He was such a happy person and a genuinely fantastic art teacher. Prince. Spent years saying Prince is not dead. But the way 2020 has gone, Prince definitely would have had something to say about it all makes me miss him more. And MCA. I can't believe I had to scroll this far to find his name. Prince was legendary. Did you know he played every instrument in his album for you? He sang it all. He played it all. He was incredible. Robin Williams and Alan Rickman it was shocking to me honestly. 2016, Rickman, was weird shit. Every couple of weeks someone major was dying. Started with Bowie and Rickman at the beginning of January, then ended with Carrie Fisher and George Michael. Don't forget Debbie Reynolds just a day or two after Carrie Fisher, Grant Imahara, loved him on Mythbusters and he was huge in the maker community, died much too young at 49 back in July. He seemed like such a genuine, nice guy who loved making things. I miss him. Mythbusters is incredibly ingrained into my childhood memory, countless hours were spent in front of the TV watching with my dad. It was a huge inspiration for me in gaining interest in science and eventually becoming an engineer. Grant's death was the first celebrity death to truly shock me. I never fully realized how much he contributed to those memories until he was gone. Until I watched the tribute video and realized how iconic his laugh was and how I could pick it out instantly. He truly died too soon but was a massive inspiration to millions of us. Chester Bennington big LP fan wanted to go to one of their concerts. Unfortunately they never visited my country. 
I loved Chester's voice and it was so cool to see the group change styles as the years went on. When he died I went back and listened to all their albums from my teenage years and it really made me miss him immediately. We were so fortunate to have such a great artist among us. Rest in peace Chester. Weirdly Anton Yelchin. Crushed to death by his car that had a design flaw is a horrible way to go. His death was so heartbreaking and strange. Heath Ledger 2, what a good few movies to go out on though. Batman and Imaginarium of Parnasses. Heath Ledger is always the first to come to mind when I see this question. I was 16 when he died, and I had such a huge crush on him. I was devastated. He died at 28, and I thought that was old, time was truly just a construct to me when I was a teen ha ha. Since then, I've been measuring my life with his, like oh he was my age when he made this movie. I'm 28 years old now, and I just calculated that in exactly 14 days, I'll be the same age he was when he died. Turns out 28 isn't old at all. Mitch Hedberg. I used to love Mitch Hedberg. I still do.